As the princesses grew up, King Janaka wanted to get her married. So, he arranged for a swayamvara. Many noble princes from several kingdoms came aspiring for the hand of the beautiful damsel Sita. But they were overwhelmed by the sight of the mighty bow and turned away. Sage Vishwamitra, accompanied by his disciples Rama and Lakshmana, arrived at Mithila. The princes were the sons of the renowned King Dasharatha. Seeing them, King Janaka felt very happy. Welcome, Guru. Welcome, young princess. I am highly honored to have you here. Ram will take part in this Swayamvara. It would be our pleasure, my lord. Ramachandra, pray to Lord Shiva before lifting the bow. Sri Rama bowed to Vishwamitra and offered his respects. He then prayed for the grace of Lord Shiva and went and easily lifted the bow single-handedly. The entire hall was dumbstruck to see how easily the handsome prince had completed the seemingly impossible task of lifting this huge bow. Sita, who was seeing Rama for the first time, was completely fascinated by his charm. She could not bring herself to take her eyes off him. At that moment, Ram's gaze too fell upon Sita and he was carried away by her divine beauty. She was clad in her princely clothes, completely decorated with pearls from top to toe. But the softness and radiance of the pearls could not match her natural glow. The whole crowd waited with bated breath. With a single stroke, Ram pulled the string of the bow and broke it. A loud noise reverberated all around the great hall and the crowd erupted in cheers. King Janaka embraced Ram and he immediately took Vishwamitra's blessings. Hooray! Ram has broken the bow. He has won Sita's hand in marriage. He is really great. King Dasharatha rushed to Mithila with his entourage and Ram and Sita's marriage was solemnized in a grand manner. <laughs>